Magic. To most of us, it is a mysterious world of impossible acts, but to others, it is a way of life. I, the only entertainer that's been voted one of the best for 12 years in a row, and I've been inducted into the Best of Toronto Hall of Fame. I've done about three, 4,000 shows over the last 25 years. In 2003, David and Harvey joined forces to create Magication products. Together, they wrote a book of routines. We took a risk. We went to Buffalo to see Sammy Patrick Smith. We did. And we showed him our book. He fell in love with the book and he offered to publish it for us, which was a huge thing to have a magician of his stature publish our book and he wrote the foreword to our book. And uh, then he also convinced us to write a second book, which was, which was pretty amazing because he thought our first book was so good. He also told us that we should send it down to the Winking Ring, who is, as you know, is the uh, world's largest uh, magic magazine. And we got tremendous reviews. And from there, the company just took off. And then from there we went on and uh, we saw, decided, why don't we try to create some of our own magic? We started off, uh, because we were kids entertainers, we started off with kids product. But then we took another nice direction when we went into mentalism and started developing some mentalism products. Yeah, we have, we have about 20 different mentalism products now. As I joined David and Harvey, they were preparing for their very first lecture in front of the Hamilton branch of the International Brotherhood of Magicians. This is called ESP Mindset. James Biss, a world-renowned mentalist, was so enamored with this product, he wrote a routine specially for us. Basically, five sealed envelopes are handed out. Each person remembers the symbol they received, the cards are then shuffled, and the mentalist the returns thing. the symbol to the person originally holding it. James right. even well, used this happens. as part of a filming for a TV pilot. If we've correctly come up with the ESP symbols that were in your minds just a moment ago, please stand up to wild applause. <laughs> but that's not all though. Each of you were sitting near or on those chairs when you came in. And there was a reason you sat on those chairs, wasn't there? You just felt a connection to sit in that chair. You can all sit down again and take the envelope that's stuck on the chair you're sitting on, take the picture out of the envelope that's there. Look at this, 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 they found it. The magic industry is actually larger than you think. The world's biggest distributor of magic sells more than $10 million worth of magic each year. Like any business, not everything goes smoothly though. We're relying on so many other people. We're relying on printers and manufacturers and- Oh, I, mean, I know, you know, I know. I mean, they I let know. you down all the time. Uh, you made us a promise for some of these cars that we need to uh, put a demonstration on and for our lecture. And uh, we have to have them. They were supposed to be ready today, but he didn't have them ready. So I'm just gonna show you what this is. I'm actually a bit nervous. I've never performed before magicians before. Now I know that a lot of you who go and do magic, you know, carry suitcases and trunks, and I mean, it, I mean, it, there's no end to it. Everything that, everything that we brought here tonight was in a box of this size. Nobody but nobody ever really remembers all the magic you did. You gotta let them know it's not what you do, but it's who you are. You're going into people's minds, right? You're going into their hearts in a way. Now you gotta let them come into your mind and into your heart a little bit. And if you do, I promise you, you'll be far better than David Copperfield could ever hope to be. Thank you very much. That was so amazing yesterday. They loved our products. Well, I've seen uh, a lot of more expensive tricks that uh, wouldn't stand up the way this stuff will. Joan Caesar, who's incoming president of International Brotherhood of Magicians, told us that she's going to see if she can get an article written about us in the Linking Ring magazine. The magic that they showed us was perfect for somebody like me. Very effective and yet not difficult to do. Just take a little practice. We've managed it. Basically, four, four and a half years, we've managed to uh, get our name on the map. Our, our name's on the map, and we're slowly getting out there, and we're getting a lot of people noticing us. I'm looking forward to real big things for our education down the road.